This program is dedicated to the memory of Philip Thiessen. This presentation is a part of Audio Adventure Theater. An introduction is to introduce people by Christopher Robin and his friends who have already been introduced to you are now going to say goodbye. So this is the opposite. But of course it isn't really goodbye because the forest will always be there and anybody who is friendly with bears can find it. CTD Productions presents to you Winnie the Pooh, The House at Pooh Corner, based on sections of the book by A. A. Milne, starring Ray Teeson as the narrator. Christopher Robin had spent the morning indoors going to Africa and back and he just got off the boat and was wondering what it was like outside, when who should come knocking at his door but Eeyore. Yes, I remember that day. I stood there with the door open, and Eeyore was standing on four legs in front of me. Hello, Eeyore, I said as I stepped outside into the snow. How are you? It's snowing still. So it is. And freezing. Is it? Yes. However, we haven't had an earthquake lately. What's the matter, Eeyore? I asked him earnestly. Nothing, Christopher Robin. Nothing important. I suppose you haven't seen a house or whatnot anywhere about. What sort of a house? Just a house. Who lives there? I do. At least I thought I did. But I suppose I don't. After all, we can't all have houses. Eeyore, I didn't know. I always thought... I don't know how it is, Christopher Robin. But what with all this snow and one thing and another, not to mention icicles and such like, it isn't so hot in my field about three o'clock in the morning as some people think it is. It isn't close, if you know what I mean. Not so as to be uncomfortable. It isn't stuffy. In fact, Christopher Robin, quite between ourselves, and don't tell anybody, it's cold. Oh, Eeyore. And I said to myself, the others will be sorry if I'm getting myself all cold. They haven't got brains, any of them. Only gray fluff that's blown into their heads by mistake. And they don't think. But if it goes on snowing for another six weeks or so, one of them will begin to say to himself, Eeyore can't be so very much too hot about three o'clock in the morning. And then it will get about. And they'll be sorry. Oh, Eeyore, I said, feeling very sorry already. I don't mean you, Christopher Robin. You're different. So what it all comes to is that I built myself a house down by my little wood. Did you really? How exciting. The really exciting part is that when I left it this morning, it was there, and when I came back, it wasn't. Not at all very natural, and it was only Eeyore's house. But still, I just wondered. I didn't stop to wonder. I was already back in my house, putting on my waterproof hat, my waterproof boots, and my waterproof Macintosh as fast as I could. We'll go and look for it at once, I called out to Eeyore. Sometimes, when people have quite finished taking a person's house, there are one or two bits which they don't want and are rather glad for the person to take back, 
if you know what I mean. So I thought if we just went... And off we heard. Not a stick of it left. Of course, I've still got all this snow to do what I like with. One mustn't complain. Oh, look, I cried, as I saw something small coming towards us. It's Piglet. Possibly. What we want is a trained bloodhound. Ah, Christopher Robin and Eeyore. Same to you, Piglet. And twice on Thursdays. Why Thursdays? You see, Piglet, I tried to explain. I'm trying to help Eeyore find his house that he built out of sticks. That's right. Lost it just here. Yes, it's lost, and Eeyore... Where did you say it was? Just here. <sighs> Made of sticks? Yes. Oh. What? You're sure it was a house? I mean, you're sure the house was just here? Of course I am. No brain at all, some of them. Why, what's the matter, Piglet? I asked. Well, the, the fact is, well, the fact is, you see, it's like this, only warmer. What's warmer? The, the other side of the wood, where your house is. My house? My house was here. I ought to know. Well, you see, Pooh and I were thinking about how Eeyore doesn't have a house, and so we decided to build him one on the other side of the wood. And I said, Pooh, I saw a heap of sticks on the other side of the wood. So we grabbed them and built you a house on the other side. It just shows what can be done by taking a little trouble. Do you see, Piglet? Brains first, and then hard work. Look at it. That's the way to build a house. Oh, ye are tomorrow. Or the next day. Eeyore, what are you doing? What does it look like? It looks like you have three sticks on the ground. Very perceptive of you, Piglet. And two of the sticks are touching at one end, but not at the other. And the third stick is laying across them. Do you know what it is? No. Is it a trap of some kind? It's an A. Oh. Not O. A. Can't you hear? Or do you think you have more education than Christopher Robin? Yes, no. Christopher Robin said it was an A. And an A it is. Until someone treads on me. Oh, dear. Do you know what A means, little Piglet? No. It means learning. It means education. It means all the things that you and who haven't got. That's what A means. Oh, I mean, does it? I'm telling you. People come and go in this forest, and they say... Is only Eeyore, so it doesn't count. They walk to and fro, saying, Ha ha! But do they know anything about A? They don't. It's just three sticks to them. But to the educated, mark this, Piglet, to the educated, not meaning poos and piglets. It's a great and glorious A. Not just something that anybody can come and breathe on. Um, there's just one thing I wanted to ask you, Eeyore. What happens to Christopher Robin in the mornings nowadays? What does Christopher Robin do in the mornings? He learns. 
he becomes educated. He instigorates. I think that is the word he mentioned, but I may be referring to something else. He instigorates knowledge. In my small way, I also, if I have the word right, am, am doing what he does. That, uh, for instance, is... Well, I, I must get back and tell the others. Christopher Robin was going away. Nobody knew why he was going. Nobody knew where he was going. Indeed, nobody even knew why he knew that Christopher Robin was going away. But somehow or other, everybody in the forest felt that it was happening at last. How do you do, Eeyore? I don't. Not to know this. <coughs> we all know why we're here, but I have asked my friend Eeyore. That's me. Grand. I have asked him to propose a resolution. Now then, Eeyore. Don't bustle me. Don't now then me. Nobody knows anything about this. This is a surprise. <coughs> what nots and etc. Before I begin. Or perhaps I should say, before I end, I have a piece of poetry to read to you. Hitherto, hitherto, a long word meaning, well, you'll see what it means directly. Hitherto, as I was saying, all the poetry in the forest has been written by who? A bear with a pleasing manner, but a positively startling lack of brain. The poem which I am now about to read to you was written by Eeyore, or myself, in a quiet moment. If somebody will take Rue's bullseye away from him and wake up Owl, Squawk! we shall be able to enjoy it. I call it poem. This is it. Christopher Robin is going. At least I think he is. Where? Nobody knows. But he is going. I mean, he goes. To rhyme with notes. Do we care? To rhyme with where? We do. Very much. I haven't got a rhyme for that is in the second line yet. Bother. Now I haven't got a rhyme for bother. Bother. Those two bothers will have to rhyme with each other. Bother. The fact is, this is more difficult than I thought. Christopher Robin, goodbye. We send our love. End. If anybody wants to clap, now is the time to do it. Thank you. Unexpected and gratifying, if a little lacking in smack. It's much better than Pooh's poetry. Well, it was meant to be. Oh, look! Here comes Christopher Robin. Hello, Piglet! Hello, Pooh Bear! Hello. <clears throat> Go on, Eeyore. Christopher Robin, we have come to say, to give you, it's called written by, but we've all, because we've heard, I mean, we all know, well, you see, it's we, you, well, that, to put it as shortly as possible, is what it is. Thank you, everybody. It's not for you, Pooh. It's for Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin? Everybody crowds round so in this forest. There's no space. I never saw a more spreading lot of animals in my life. And all in the wrong places. 
Can't you see that Christopher Robin wants to be alone? I'm going. Not quite knowing why, the others began edging away, and when Christopher Robin had finished reading the poem and was looking up to say thank you, only Pooh was left, and they both went off together. But wherever they go, and whatever happens to them on the way, in that enchanted place on the top of the forest, a little boy and his bear will always be playing. In the House at Pooh Corner by A.A. A. Milne Dramatized for audio by Caleb Thiessen You heard Ray Thiessen as the narrator Caleb Thiessen as Eeyore Reed Thiessen as Piglet and Aaron Thiessen as Christopher Robin Special appearances were Philip Thiessen as Winnie the Pooh Chad Carding as Rabbit Brent Carding as Owl Renee Thiessen as Kanga and Daniel Goodman as Roo Sound design and mix was by Caleb Thiessen. The audio adventure theater theme was composed by Garrett Vandenberg. And I'm Cody Robbins. The House at Pooh Corner by A.A. A. Milne was brought to you by CTD Productions. Thank you for listening. Be sure to check out our website at audioadventuretheater.blogspot.com.